Good morning, everybody. Sorry if I kept you waiting too long this morning. I hope you're having a good day. Let's get started with our song. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. The day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, class. What are we going to do today? Read, 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 write, 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 and think, think, think with all our might. Who's going to be my helping hand today? Who's going to be my helping hand today? The helping hand today is going to be Miss Novera. She sent in a sentence and a choice for the calendar. So let's get started on the calendar. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. This month is called... Do our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yesterday was Sunday. That means today is Monday. Yesterday was the 10th, so today is the 11th. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Okay, let's move our Monday and our 11. Great job! Carson's birthday is May the 24th. Friday is our last day of distance learning. We've got a fun week ahead on your weekly plan that has links to our lessons every day at reading. There is a different friend teacher reading a book to you. And at math, there's a fun song. And that might be it. That might leave you more time for playing and having fun. And there's a few science activities on there too. So fun. All right, Mrs. Novera picked the read to self picture. Oh, you have extra time to read to self. I love to read. Good picture, Miss Novera. All right, let's get started on our daily news. Okay, we're gonna start the way we always do with the word good. With an uppercase G. What two letters go together to spell ooh? Two O's. Good. There's my D. Now we're going to skip two spaces and spell morning. Mmm. Or. Mmm. Ing. I N G. Today. Here I go. To. Day. D A Y. We know how to spell is. I S. Today is Monday. What month is it again? May. Yesterday was May 10th, so today is May 11th, 2020. So Miss Navera sent a picture of some geese in her backyard. So I will share that picture in the comments. Mrs. Navera has geese in her backyard. Mrs. Here's our abbreviation. Novera has geese. G e two e's. Geese and a silent e at the end. In her. Backyard, two parts. 
two syllables, backyard. That's a compound word because back is a real word and yard is a real word. Back, yard. Yep, here comes ball C-O-R. Back, yard. Oh, I just made it fit. Exclamation point. Okay, you ready to read? Good morning. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Mrs. Navera has geese in her backyard. Ooh, I'll send you a picture in the comments. Now, this week, um, I'm going to read Junie B during our calendar time. And so we won't have a Junie B video in the afternoons because in the afternoons, I'm going to be working at school a lot of the days to help take up papers from kids who are going to be coming into kindergarten next year and to help. Um, I'm going to pack up all your things like your crayons, your glue sticks, your notebooks. You'll want to look in those, won't you? Um, the papers that I copied, I copied papers that you wrote in August and September and it will be fun for you to look back at those papers and see how much your writing has grown and improved since then. I'm going to pack those up for you. Um, and so I'm going to be working a lot in the afternoons this week. So we're just going to do one video every day. We're going to do Calendar and Junie B at the same time. Okay. So we stopped at Chapter 7. And that's called Flower Head. She says, Dear First Grade Journal, I am riding this page on a crazy tour bus. Crazy tour bus is the grown-up word for there is nothing but old people on this thing. We are going on a nature hike. A nature hike is when you look at plants and birds and scenery. I cannot think of a worse activity. Mother said I will get some good pictures today. Big whoop. From Junie B, I do not want to be here. Uh-oh, she doesn't have a good attitude, does she? I closed my journal and I did a huff. This bus trip is taking forever, I grumped. Mother and Daddy rolled their eyes because we hadn't left the parking lot yet. I kept on grumping. Then finally, finally, finally the bus door closed and we started to go. A man in the front seat picked up a microphone. Aloha, he hollered. All of the people on the bus sat there real silent. Then a few of them said, Aloha, back at him. The man laughed. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Aloha, he hollered again. And so this time more people said it, but they still weren't loud enough for him, I guess, because we went through the same nonsense five more times. I tapped on Mother. This guy's getting on my nerves, I said. Shh, she said back. I looked at Squeezer. Being shushed is no fun either, I said. The man kept talking. He said his name is Donald and he will be our nature guide today. I did a sigh. Little children do not like nature, I said. But that's not true, is it? Because you guys like nature. You bring me acorns and flowers. Donald kept on blabbing. He said we were on our way to a beautiful rainforest and we will see some of the most spectacular scenery in the world. I covered my face. Little children do not like spectacular scenery, I said. Donald went on. He said, we will see gorgeous flowers and magnificent trees and beautiful birds of all colors. I did a loud groan. Can this situation get any boringer, I said. An old man in front of me heard me say that. He peeked his head over the seat real friendly. He said his name was Harold and he was 88 years young. When you get to be my age, spectacular scenery is as exciting as it gets, he said. I sighed again. That's not much to look forward to, Harold, I said. Daddy quick leaned over and he told me to please find something to do. Then he gave me my camera and he said to take a picture of the people on the bus. I waited till we stopped at a light. Then I stood in the aisle and I took a picture. Click, click. Here's the bus. I sat back down. That picture will go nicely with my other embarrassing photo journal pictures, I said. 
Room one is going to laugh me right out of show and tell after that mother snatched my camera away and she said maybe I needed a nap. I covered my ears. Yeah, only how can I even sleep with old Donald's yakking going on, I said. That man would not stop, I tell you. He told us the names of a million jillion Hawaii birds and a million jillion Hawaii flowers. Plus also he talked about pineapples and coconuts and bananas and papayas. Then Donald took a big breath and he started talking about tuna fish. I threw my hands in the air. Someone take his microphone away, I hollered. Mother did a gasp at that comment. Daddy did a gasp too. I quick covered my mouth. But it was too late. All of the bus people were stretching their necks to look at me. Junie B, what on earth has gotten into you today? Asked Mother. I slumped way down. Sorry, Mother, sorry. But I've got stress in my head because I really need an exciting picture for my photo journal. Only what kind of exciting picture can you get on a nature walk? I stopped and looked over the seat. No offense, Harold, I said. None taken, he said back. It's just that I'm running out of time, I explained. Aren't we all, said Harold. Mother sat me down again. Well, I can promise you one thing, Junie B., she said. If you go on this hike with a bad attitude, nothing good will happen. But if you keep an open mind, you might be surprised. Sometimes nature can be very exciting. I slumped down even more. Yeah, right. Exciting, I said. I turned and looked out the window. I don't care what anybody says. Nature is not exciting. Not even if it's paradise. The bus trip took forever, it seemed. But finally, phew, at last, the driver turned a corner and we pulled into a parking lot. We're here, said Donald. Welcome to our beautiful Hawaiian rainforest. I sprang up like a spring. Then I ran outside and I sniffed real deep. Fresh air, I thought I would never breathe you again, I said. Pretty soon, Donald gathered all of the bus people around him. He gave us a nature guidebook and he told us the hiking rules. Hiking rule number one, he said, please stay on the trail and do not wander off on your own. He went on. Hiking rule number two, please do not disturb the natural vegetation. And hiking rule number three, please be respectful of nature and speak in quiet voices. Do you think Junie B can do that? I looked at Squeezer and rolled my eyes. Wonderful, another quiet voice day, I grouched. After that, all of the bus people lined up behind Donald and we started hiking down the trail. It was slow as molasses, I tell you, on account of everyone, every two seconds, people kept stopping to look at stuff, just plain old normal stuff, I mean, like plants and flowers and trees. Finally, I got frustration in me. Okay, folks, keep it moving. We've seen it all before, I called. Daddy quick scooped me up and sat me on a rock. Then he waited for the other bus people to pass by. And big surprise, I got scolded again. He said, if I can't behave myself, we will go back to the bus right now, young lady, and we will sit there until all the people come back. Is that what you want to do, Missy? He said, huh? Is it? I made a grunt face. No, Daddy, I said. I don't want to do any of this stuff. I wish we could do something exciting because I've already seen flowers in nature before. Just then, Mother picked up a flower that was lying on the trail. Oh, but you've never seen this flower, Junie B, she said. Look how beautiful this is. It looks like a big red powder puff. She stuck it in my hair. Then she took out a mirror and let me see. I stared at myself very admiring. Whoa, I said, I look stunning. Mother laughed. Yes, you do, she said. This would make a really cute picture. My face got brighter. Hey, yeah, I said, this could be the first cute picture of my whole entire photo journal. I quick got my camera and I held it way out in front of me. Then, click, click, I took a picture of my very own self. Now that one is a keeper, I said. Here's your picture. She said, I am stunning.
that, all of us started hiking again, only this time I was the slow poke because I kept picking up powder puff flowers and sticking them in my hair. Pretty soon, my whole head was full of those beautiful things. I stuck extra ones in my pockets and my shirt buttons and my shoelace holes. Then I looked down at Squeezer and smiled. Nature is being a little bit fun, I said. I smiled bigger. Who knew? That's the end of chapter 7. Tomorrow we'll read chapter 8. And Wednesday we'll read chapter 9. And that is it. So Wednesday will be our last calendar day. That will be our last time because when we finish Junie B, we will be finished with our calendar time too. Wow, we only have two more days left. This is our last week of kindergarten. We're so proud of our kindergarten friends. Um, let's do our letter sounds and then our sight words. All right, you ready? Letter is A, sound is A. Letter is B, sound is B. Letter is C, sound is K. Letter is D, sound is D. Letter is E, sound is F. Letter is F, sound is F. Letter is G, sound is G. Letter is H, sound is H. Letter is I, sound is I. Letter is J, sound is J. Letter is K, sound is K. Letter is L, sound is O. Letter is M, sound is M. Letter is N, sound is N. Letter is O, sound is O. Letter is P, sound is P. Letter is Q, sound is Q. Letter is R, sound is R. Letter is S, sound is S. Letter is T, sound is T. Letter is U, sound is O. Letter is V, sound is V. Letter is W, sound is W. Letter is X, sound is X. Letter is Y, sound is Y. And letter is Z, sound is Z. Okay, sight words, you ready? If you want to send me a video of you saying these sight words, you go right ahead. Want. She. Saw. Now. They. Put. There. Was. Be. Out. Then. Went. Home. See you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great day.